creating havoc on our roads. The groups of riders do dangerous tricks at high speed, filming their antics for the internet. They brag about their tricks and show off how to beat the police. Graham Butler reports fears they're putting innocent lives at risk. Confiscate their bikes, take it, take them off the road. For half an hour of fun, that would have a lifetime of suffering. Tearing up Perth streets on two wheels. The riders call themselves Perth Extreme. Critics call them extremely stupid. They are like someone with a loaded gun swinging it around in a street. The images you're seeing were posted on an internet site. Bike riders pulling stunts at breakneck speeds. It's illegal, it's dangerous, and it's happening on Perth streets. Watch this, a rider on the freeway, surrounded by motorists. Essentially, a motorbike rider becomes a flying missile. At that speed, and they're unrestrained, they just become a flying missile. And the injuries that they get, they're the kind of guys that die at the scene. They never make it to hospital. Dr Sadaka Rao is a trauma specialist at Royal Perth Hospital. He sees the results of motorbike crashes and is horrified by the footage. When you see someone who deliberately goes out there and increases those risks, it, it just completely astounds me. Watch this as a rider stands on his bike at high speed. Dr Rao says it defies belief. If they knew what we knew and what the thousands of people have had previous motorbike accidents know, they would think twice, three times about doing anything like this. Around 200 motorbike riders are seriously injured each year. Dr Rao says if these riders came off while riding like this, they probably wouldn't survive. He will be catapulted. He'll be like a human catapult shot out of a cannon and he will land most likely on his head and break his neck and they just die at the scene. Today Tonight contacted the organisers of the website for comment. Not surprisingly, while they're game enough to pull these stunts, they're not game to face the critics. When they became aware of our interest, they shut down the website, replacing it with this. I mean, what they're doing, they're just skiting, lairising. I mean, kids do it when they're young. These blokes are doing it on high-powered motorbikes. What the public should do, if the bloke next door to you does it, ring the police. And it's clear avoiding police is high on the agenda of these bike riders. The website promotes dodging police, listening to scanners and tipping other bike riders off when they see police. It also openly promotes riding like hoons on public roads, naming Scarborough Beach Road as a preference. What they're doing is putting their fingers up at the rest of society they're saying, we don't care. Grant Dorrington from the Office of Road Safety makes no secret of how he feels about this sort of thing. He says he's seen it firsthand while driving on the freeway. All of a sudden, six motorcyclists go past me on their back wheel, uh, Hank standing up on the back wheel. Now, I just kept going along, like everyone else on the road were shocked, and watched them go for it must be five or six k's. What's angered people like Grant Dorrington is the bike riders are not only putting themselves in danger, but innocent motorists doing the right thing. There is no place for them. Get them off the road. I mean, they shouldn't be allowed on our road system. We can't blame the police because they can't be everywhere. I couldn't get the number plates because they cover their number plates. And that's another issue that we as a council, we need to make sure that we start to identify the bikes better. Motorbikes don't have number plates on the front. It means they have immunity from speed cameras. And this is the result. Grant Dorrington says it shows why the law must be changed. Make them accountable. They're not accountable. And that's why they're doing these absolutely stupid um, things on the road, which are just so dangerous. The West Australian newspaper tomorrow exposes more groups causing havoc on the roads.